Hi, welcome to SBR Sports Picks. His name is Mike Brenner. My name is Peter Lushak. We are the Odds Couple. We are uh, taking a look at seeding trends, preparing for the upcoming yep. NCAA tournament. Today is uh, February 27th. Never too early to start looking, though, at, uh, no. at, at seeding trends and start thinking about which teams. As of right now, there's a guy named Joe Lunardi at uh, ESPN who does, uh, you know, who yep. projects uh, brackets. And you, you do have a pretty good sense of who's going to be around yep. like a 3, 4, 5 seed and even who's going to be likely, you know, 12, 13, 14 sure. seeds as well. And Pete, last year we did this. And you know mm-hmm. what? I, after we were through, because mm-hmm. I, I was wondering also how could, but I found out that it sharpened my pencil a little bit. Yes. I had a, a better view going in and I liked it. Yeah. yeah, so underdogs uh, uh, tend to cover in the uh, first round of the NCAA tournaments. In general, they were 7-4-1 and one ATS last three years, but just 2-6 and six ATS the two years before that. And Ooh. also, uh, we just got finished talking about how a bunch of, uh, of, uh, of three seeds uh, have won. Five three seeds have won over the last four years. That's outright. Yeah. Over the last three years, only one 13th seed has won outright. So, Ooh. you know, I think that's a little bit, uh, you know, due to variance. But, uh, sure. but still, you be. know, you yeah. see a lot. Of, uh, in, the, in recent years, you've seen a lot of faves winning but not covering in this matchup, four yeah, and thirteen. I agree. I would probably choose, you know, backdoor covers more than mm-hmm. I would a big favor because you know a lot of them just want to get it done, get get the win. No, they're gonna, they're better talented. Yeah, they're not looking for that blowout. So I don't know, Pete. It's tricky because those numbers they don't lie. And, and also, when you look at some of the teams that are projected to be a thirteen seed, they're also the teams that are projected to be like a twelve. We know yeah. that twelve five is a big uh, upset uh, sure uh, matchup. Uh, you got teams like Belmont, NC Wilmington, Akron, Nevada, Monmouth, yep. UT Nevada. Arlington. Yep. Those are all really strong teams. Teams that might that that can take you know a, an elite team down to the wire, yes. get a cover, and people are like, yep. wow, where did that come from? Exactly. You know? Nevada, you mentioned it. That's mm-hmm. one team I really yeah. am looking for because I will I would back them in a minute. They're not right. afraid of the talent when they have to go to the next sure, level. Sure, sure. So. All right. So as of right now, the four teams that Joe Lunardi has uh, projected as four seeds are Duke, West Virginia, Purdue, and Butler. That looks like a pretty Ooh, strong collection sure of uh, four seeds, right? Sure I could does. see Duke, West Virginia, or Purdue, or all three of them moving mm-hmm. up to a to a to a three seed. I could too, but you know. Purdue's got, coming off of a loss also mm-hmm. and uh, trying to figure out what's going on. But if it was to settle in that, mm-hmm. I'm telling you right now, three out of four of them, I would probably back as a favorite, Pistol Pete. Yeah, and Butler is is the tough one because uh, I could easily see Butler winning but not covering. Butler actually has 17 and 10 ATS overall in the year. Great ATS record, yeah. but just 6 and 8 ATS as a favorite of seven points or more, which Ooh, is where this uh, line will likely to be. That's right? an interesting fact so, right yeah. there, buddy. So these lines, are, these lines tend to be you know at the low end, 5 and 6, and then you still see like 10, 13 point favorites sure. in some in some cases, but uh, yeah. So Butler is exactly the kind of team that might be, uh, you know, a and Butler uh, just had a big game against Nova, if I'm correct. Yeah, right? yeah, Over and the they weekend. won. Yes, so, they you know, did outright in Villanova. So I could easily see Butler being one of these uh, four seeds that winds up winning but not covering. Yep, me uh, too. Yeah, yep. Uh, Purdue though is a team that four and zero ATS on a Ooh. neutral court, and three of those games they were a double digit favorite. So Purdue's the kind of team that I could see uh, being a I favorite like to cover. And here. I was yeah. going to say that even though they're coming off of a game where they didn't mm-hmm. play their best. That's the kind of team when they realize and they underachieve, they turn it on the next time. But you, you nailed it because I was looking also neutral court doesn't bother them one bit. If anything, they're the favorite on a yeah, neutral court. Yeah, all right. And yeah. then we got, uh, you know, Duke and West Virginia. I don't know what to make of Duke. Well, you have and, uh, Grace you, you, and you're vaguely down yeah. on Duke. Though, I, I really am. It's just a different squad. And when you throw in the fact that Coach K had surgery, was out for a while, you know, you had all that drama with the kick and the trip and with mm. Grace and Allen. <laughs> right. Now, what I'm hearing, there's three players in that start lineup that have had a feud with him at one time or another through the year in the locker room. Mm-hmm. So if you're having trouble in the locker room and you got one of your stars is injured, Pete, I gotta, I gotta stay off that team, and probably, probably would fade them if the line is big enough. If they're giving a the dog, you know, too many points. All right, now what about West Virginia? Because of course, last uh, year West Virginia was a three seed, and they were the three seed that lost outright yes. last year. Got bleeped by double digits by by Stephen F. Austin. So whether they're a four seed or a three seed this year, uh, what's your dig on West Virginia? Well, Are they you know, maybe a team that's not built well for uh, for early success in it, the uh, NCAA tournament? It could be, and you know what? Remember when Bob Huggins was coaching Cincinnati? All right, the same thing happened. Mm-hmm. So maybe. Maybe it's a coaching thing. He mm-hmm. can get them to a certain level, but when when it gets time to get them ready, you know, to go ahead and conquer and move forward, he fails. Yeah. Now I think tonight's going to be a very very big test, and I'm going to watch it closely. Mm-hmm. If West Virginia does what they should do tonight, I'm going to say maybe they're a different team this year. But I remember that. But I guarantee Bob Huggins will not let his players forget that. Yeah. I mean West you know? Virginia, it, it's a tough team. I, 
remember early on in the year when they and were Fang uh, was high yeah, on them, big and time. They were, and they were uh, you know a, a home favorite over Baylor when Baylor was ranked. I think Baylor was ranked number one, yeah. and the line crept 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 up, and of yep. course West Virginia blew them out by twenty. So and now yeah. they're they're number twenty six in the power ranking. So they took quite a hit. Um, again, I don't think their bench is deep enough, Pete. Mm -hmm. That may be a, a trend that might continue with West Virginia, but we'll All find right. out. Yeah. Again, last three years, dogs seven four and one ATS, despite the fact that only one of those times did the dogs actually uh, win, win outright. outright. So yeah. I'm thinking maybe definitely look for Butler uh, uh, to uh, to if not lose outright, uh, win but not cover. I definitely and think that as well. Maybe West Virginia as well. And you know what? Butler with that big win at Nova, mm -hmm. at Nova, that's going to probably pump yeah, up those yeah, lines. It yeah, might be swelled exactly. a little bit, Pete, exactly. might be the time. As opposed to Purdue, which is a team that I'd be very uh, yeah. careful about fading, uh, yeah. although maybe who knows. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, we will see, Mike Brenner. I love doing this, Pete. It's <laughs> Martin's Madness, baby, and I can't stand it. I love it. Yeah, you ready to pull that trigger? Definitely. Research before you bet. Be sure to check out SPR Picks for the best game predictions, breakdowns, and much, much more.